What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you two basic steps, two super, super powerful, effective, um, just strategies, steps, just basic disciplines that you want to get in the habit of doing right when you set up a Facebook ad, okay? And this is basic, but this is so freaking important, and this is what it's all about. So the moment you, the moment, let me go to share the screen. The moment you you put up an ad, right? There's two ways to really run a Facebook ad, Instagram ad, same damn thing, right? You can either post it on the business page first and then come over here to the ads manager, hit the create button and run that ad, right? Use existing post, run that ad, post it on the business page first and then come back here and, and run that ad, right? That's one way to do it. The second way to do it is to, is to, is to, is to run it, run it, um, behind the scenes and, and what most call that is a dark post ad a dark post ad is when you don't post it on the business page first and you just simply have the image in your download folder video in your download folder and you just straight come over here hit the green button go straight through the through the through the um through the ad setup and then pull that asset pull that image video from your computer pull it from your download folder and run it that way right that's behind the scenes it's, it's again it's what they call a dark post ad um the reason why I don't do it that way is because you're spending money on it, right? You're spending money on the ad. You're spending money on the post. The moment that ad shuts off, the, the post is offline and nowhere to be found ever, ever, ever again, right? And I'm like, the way I look at it, I'm like, dude, if I spend money on it, I might as well let the post live forever, right? Even if it bombed, even if it wasn't a freaking great ad, so be it. How many times you guys post all over the damn place and none of it gets engagement either. So it's like, who cares? Especially so if I if I if I put money in it, it's like, dude, I might as well let it live on the damn page. So that's why I post it on the page first, and then I come back here and run the ad. Okay, so that's what just happened right now. The post was was put up, and all I'm doing is some basic Facebook cleanup for one of my friends. Um, shout out to shout out to to so beard. Shout out to just crushing it, crushing it, building a global brand. So. I'm just doing some cleanup in the Facebook ad manager side of it all and in doing some basic setups, right? So the post was put on the page first. Then what I did is I came over here and I ran an ad, right? I set up an ad for them. It's just a simple engagement ad. The whole purpose of this, the whole objective, the whole strategy is to simply create engagement, right? Target a local area, create a buzz, create a freaking, create, create some, some, some people talking, right? Having comments below, people sharing the post, whatever, right? In engagement and then and then creating a custom audience around those engagers so you can then retarget in the future that's what this is all about right engagement ads so so if you're running engagement ads if you're running video view ads brand awareness reach right as you come in here and cl and click on this green button let me go ahead and and you just choose whichever objective right the whole 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 thing is 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 Again, whether it's reach, brand awareness, traffic, engagement, video views, even lead generation messages, conversions, no matter what the hell it is, right? Two things you want to do right away. So in this case, we went with engagement. I just got done setting it up. I just got done setting it up. It's scheduled scheduled to go live tomorrow. And and, and that's when I thought of, of you guys. I'm like, dude, let me just show you. Let me just record a damn video real quick. Let me show you two important things that I was about to do right now anyways. And that's the thing about my channel. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building, been, um, building an agency, getting clients on social media marketing services and, and Facebook ad um, coaching services, teaching people Facebook. Facebook ads, the basics of Facebook ads. Um, and, 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 and I've been doing that full time all day since 2017, right? So, so hundreds of clients spoke to thousands of people on this topic. Um, and, and so I'm like, dude, these are two basic things I'm going to do real quick. Anyways, let me just show, show, show my YouTube fam. So boom, that ad was just set real quick, right? So again, if you guys are new, subscribe, man, if you're into this type of stuff, subscribe, because all I do is I document what I'm doing. I'm documenting. I'm, I'm, I'm for, for my YouTube fam. I'm documenting day in the life, whether I'm building a landing page, put, whether I'm putting together some email automations, whether I'm running some, some Facebook ads, whether I'm cleaning up a Facebook ad account for a client, whatever, right. I'm trying to document that. So if you're into that type of stuff, definitely subscribe. Um, so boom, went up scheduled to go live tomorrow. 
two things that you want to do right away. Okay, right away, right away, right when you set that. Hit the three lines to the left. And, and the first thing you want to do is you want to go to um, you want to go to audiences. You want to go to audiences and there's two audiences. So it's, it's not just two things to do. It's actually two audiences to create. That's what you're really doing. That's what I, two audiences to create. I guess that should be the, the name of the video here. Two audiences to create the moment you set a Facebook ad. Okay. Two audiences to create the moment you set a Facebook ad. So in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to come over to audiences. I'm going to make sure in the, I'm in the right account, right? There's the right account right there in the top, right? 360 alloys. I notice that there's one audience right here. So what I want to do is I want to create based on this post, based on this ad, right? It's a video. It's a video. It's a 30 second video. Okay. So, so, so again, in this case, two things I want to do, two audiences I want to make sure are created before it goes live. Right. And, and here, here, here are the two audiences. So we click the blue button, we go to custom audiences. And what I want to do, there's actually three audiences, three audiences. That's the first one, web visits. That's the first one. That's the first audience, but that's already a given. Your pixel should be on that. That that landing page or or whatever pages throughout your website should be all um, set up as custom audiences. Each link, add to cart link, custom audience. Thank you page link, custom audience. Landing page link, custom audience. Every single page within a website should be set up as a custom audience, um, in my professional opinion. So this one's based on just the web visits. That's a given. That should be set up for sure. But the two other audiences that you want to make sure are set up right away, the moment you go and run an ad, is, is in this case, because I'm going engagement, what I want to do is I want to, I want to click on Facebook, hit next, and then I want to go with, I want to make sure I'm in the right page. So it's going to be this one down here. So I want to make sure I'm in the right page. And this one's going to be engagement. I'm going to go 90. I'm going to go 90. This is going to be people who engaged. Look, you have all these different options. You have all these different options. People who currently like or follow your page, boom, you can create an audience and only target them on Facebook. How powerful is that, dude? Right here, everyone who engaged with your page, anyone who visited, simply visited, simply landed on the Facebook business page and boom, they were tracked. Now, all of a sudden you, you have them in an audience and you can run an ad to them right away, right? That's super powerful. Um, people who engaged with any post or ad, that's what we want, right? In this case, with this specific audience, I want this one. I want people who engaged with any post or ad, right? And I'm gonna have that collected for 90 days. So if 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 if, if you if you went to if you if you engaged with the post or ad 97 days ago, you wouldn't be in this audience, right? It's only people that have engaged within the past 90 days. So that's gonna start to count, right? Account be accounted for. Um, is is a 90 day? I can I can the max you can go is 180, right? 180. But again, based on certain audiences or depending on certain audiences that you're building. Um, you may want to you may want to reconsider that number right like for example if you watched a video of mine um 180 days ago and that was the only video you've ever watched and you only watched a few seconds of it right you only watched a few seconds of it um you're not going to remember me like 180 days ago like you're probably not going to remember me if you only watched a few seconds of something you know or if you engaged on a post 180 days ago you're probably not going to remember that, dude. You're just not. You're not. You're not. So depending on the audience. Now, if this was leads, if this was an audience that I was creating around my leads, how do you create that? You take your thank you page. So if I go to your page, I enter my name and email, no matter what it is for a calendar scheduling for, for a lead, often, whatever, you're a real estate agent, you're, you're selling something, you're on Shopify, whatever. If I buy your stuff or if I opt in to download your stuff, whatever it may be, I should be, I should be taken to a second page, which is a confirmation page. That's the most, that's one of the most important audiences um, ever on the entire planet of, of, of the internet. Um, because that's how you track your leads. That's how you segment your leads. That's how you figure out your cost per lead um, is, is based on the traffic, based on the visits of a, of a specific link, right? An audience. That's an audience. People that landed on thank you page, thank you for buying or thank you for scheduling. Our appointment is confirmed, right? These basic confirmation pages are your money pages. But, 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 you know, so on the other hand, what you want to be doing is you want to be segmenting, right? Properly segmenting. This would be an audience, for example, around uh, if that was the audience leads, 
that would be an audience that I'd be that I'd be building to start excluding those people from future ads, right? If I'm running the same ad, especially throughout the month, if I'm trying to get people to opt in, or if I'm trying to get people to my webinar, or if I'm trying to get people to buy a specific product and I'm running ads throughout the whole entire month, there's going to be people that opt in. There's going to be people that buy. Those people, again, are your audiences. Those people are people that you would exclude. I would max out an audience like that, for example. 180, if you bought or if you opted in, yeah, dude, you're whenever you're going to be in that audience max. If it was a video, if it was a video, which in this case, again, people who engaged with post or ad, the max I'm going to go is 90 days, 90 days, 90 days is, is the max I'm going to go with that. And in this one, it's going to be called the audience name is actually going to be called um, six years carrying out repairs. But it's actually any post people who engage with any post or ad. Right. So so that's what I'm going to name it. That's what actually, that's actually what I'm going to name because it's not on a specific ad. It's on any people who engaged with any post or ad. Right. So it's not just this one. Right. Even though it's going to be an ad and, 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 and that's cool. So so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to go engaged, engaged, engaged with any post or ad. Exactly what that is. That's exactly what that is. I'm going to go 90 days and I'm going to create that audience. So that audience is powerful, man, especially if I'm putting money behind the post, right? So yes, it'd be, it'd be an audience that includes anyone who engaged with any post, right? So if you post organically, okay, cool. That person that engaged, liked it, shared it, commented, they're in that audience as well, right? But that's going to be random. That's going to be just your organic random um, engagement, if you're actually putting money behind it, okay, cool. That ad, that ad, that ad. That's what I that that's what I want to accumulate, right? Is an audience of those who have engaged with with an ad. Now that's number one, right? That that's number one audience. Um, actually, yeah, that's that that's what this is all about. The two things that you want to do right away. That's that's one. The second, because it's a video ad, because it's a video post, I also want a, an audience around those who watch a certain percentage of the video. The video is 30 seconds long, right? The video is 30 seconds long, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna come over here. We wanna go create audience. Where did it go? Create audience, custom audience. Where'd the damn thing go? Uh, okay, custom audience. hit next, go video. And then all we're going to do is simply go because it's a shorter video, right? 30 seconds, 30 seconds. You want to create an audience of those who watch at least, at least, at least half of it, man, at least 15 seconds, at least 10 seconds, whatever, three seconds, whatever. But again, dude, it's an audience, right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to create a warm audience. Um, so 15 seconds, I'm going to go with 15 seconds on this one. And you can, you could play around and you can go with as many as you want, dude. You can, I could freaking choose. I can create as many of these, these as I want. Right. But, but I don't want to overwhelm myself. So I just kind of go with one simple one, 15 seconds. In this case, choose video. We're going to make sure we're in the right page, go down to the right page. And then you'll see it right here. Right. So we have established it's that one right there three second views, only two of them. So boom, I just set that ad live. Um, and that, that, that view count will obviously start to grow. This right here, again, I'm going 90. I'm going 90. I'm naming it six years carrying out repairs video. Um, actually, um, let's go video. We're gonna go video. And then in parentheses, in parentheses, we're gonna go, um, 15 seconds. Okay. So there goes the audience. So those are the two things you guys that the moment that ad goes up, right? In this case, we're going engagement, right? To create the audience. And then right away, boom, I want to come up, come over here, hit the three lines, go to audiences and create those two engage with any post or ad, but we obviously want the ad part, right? Engage with any ad that's important. And then, and then make sure that the, the landing page or the web page that's an obvious, make sure, make sure you have, have that audience. But then also the second one today was making sure that you set up that video, that video audience, start tracking, start segmenting, start categorizing all your video viewers, um, and then start 
again, retargeting and show them, show them more ads. And as you, as you continue to build out these audiences, as you continue to stay consistent, you start to run conversion ads. And that's really where you want to be as conversion. So if you're in the business of making sales, capturing leads or, or getting people to schedule appointments and you're running traffic, you want to be running conversions. Okay. So, but this is just how you get, get it going. This is how you start spending some money. This is how you start creating some audiences. And then this is how you really bring your brand out, man. So get, get the audience to, got the audience to engage and, and build a relationship from there. All right, guys, over and out. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.